Hello before we get into the video make sure to like and subscribe. Okay now to the video. All the default thieves I'd pro I'd put them I mean they're like they're like normal. I'd put them probably put them all in C C minus Put them all C except for Pinky. Pinky Pinky's a little bit better, but you know. <laughs> okay, let me find them really quick. Right, there we go, I found all of them. Keely's I think overall a good character. You see its stats only being able just to hit the the feet. I'd probably put it because it can get counteracted by uh by like big explosions that can like bypass armor. Its passive ability is pretty good and it has smoke bomb. I'd probably put it in probably B tier. I put it B B tier probably. Uh B B plus. Okay, next one we have Cow. I don't remember the name. Forgive me. All cow. Let's see all cow stats. So 19 walk speed, 6 hearts, and 25 capacity. Huh, okay, that's actually pretty good. I've used it a little bit, not too much. I'd usually just use Godfather, like a better version, maybe just like a little less health, but you know. I'd probably put it, I'll put A+. Plus. A+, plus is pretty solid if it's stats. Yeah. Okay, next we have, we have All Duck. All Duck has 20 speed, 80 jump, so it's pretty much just like jump version of it. Oh, more, more money. I'd probably put it, probably same tier, A tier. Pretty solid. Okay, we got the Hawaii guy, Hawaiian guy. Let's look at that. Aloha, that's the name. Host a dance party. To be honest, this thing sucks. <laughs> My opinion, I think it's pretty bad. I think losing uh, the smoke bomb or it's pretty bad for like distraction that like gives away your, your position or at least where nearby where you are because of it. And you don't even get like like smoke screen. Yeah, you, it makes the loud sound. You, I guess if you time it right, you can like run away and hide. But like, I don't know. I think it's just, I think it's bad. <laughs> I think it's a, it's DT. It's not the worst. Okay, uh, Angel, right? If I'm correct, yeah, Angel. I would put Angel in, I think, C tier, C plus. It's really good, but like, it's not a good way to make money, but it's a good support character for like, for helping around your comrades and your teammates. Not good for making money. It's a good all around character. I'd probably put, yeah, C plus since it's, a, it's pretty much just a support character. Okay, now we got the cowboy, cowboy. Yippee ki yay. Okay, Lasso from twice the distance. And you have smoke screen. I think, if it's tw if it's twice the distance, I don't even th to be uh, to be fair, I don't even think it's that good. Cause even though you're able to like you know grab items from like twice the distance, the distance is actually pretty like pretty short. So it's just like somewhat okay distance. Like I don't know. I think I think if they were to increase the increase the distance, maybe maybe like I want to make it times three or four, but I don't know. I think that'd be too OP. I'd probably put it probably put it C tier. Okay, next, Banana, is it Banana Joe? I don't remember the name. I don't remember all these names, I'm sorry. <laughs> I only remember I only remember the ones that I main, <laughs> that I play. Okay, Ben the Banana, okay, Ben the Banana. It's a, it's a troll character to be fair. I think like Ben the Banana, troll character, not to be serious. So, but like overall usage, I mean, you can you can sell the banana, but I don't think that's gonna, do that much do anything it's, it's it's a troll character it's not meant to be like seriously played so i'd probably put a d tier okay then we got the brotherhood right if i'm correct brother of the okay man man okay smoke screen and call and i know what call is okay gain more gain more health for each person that that uses the health okay bottom brother is now 15 up to 20 right so i would put brotherhood so like for Brotherhood, I would put it in, it, it depends on, you know, if you're playing with people or not that will actually use Brotherhood. Like, I don't know, it, it would really depend because if you're playing it alone, you're literally just playing Default Thief. But if you were to get like a bunch of people to group up and do it, I'd probably put it in. I'll put it in C+. It depends on the, the usage, but if, if you were to get a bunch of people to do it, then I think it would be really good because, you know, everybody will get like... <laughs> Up, says in the wiki up to 20 which is pretty crazy are you gonna get <laughs> that much people to play brotherhood no unrealistically so i'd probably just put it in c plus like average but if you get like a few friends to work on it it'd be pretty good we have astronaut nope we have buzz my bad okay moonwalk 
Okay, you have the active ability smoke bomb and the passive ability moonwalk. Be able to blow gravity in your own character. I think depending on the map, it could be pretty useful. It really depends. Like if you do it in, in school, but actually no, school is a bad example. School doesn't exist. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> It, I'd say it'd be good with museum to like get to the second floor instantly like from lobby just jump to the second floor instantly turn it on and then turn it off it's really good in a few scenarios of maps so I would probably put it C plus actually now nah, I'll put it B I might change it robot man robot what the heck CRD B4 bard I don't know <laughs> Disguise as a random character cooldown 20 seconds. Okay, I don't know cuz I've seen people try to use This this robot this little like fake robot thing against me But like oh turn the corner switch to another character and I'm like I bet he's this character and then I shoot him down Right it it really depends on like knowledge of the character and different scenarios It's good for like tricking like new beginner cameras But if once you know its ability and you're like aware of your surroundings I think it's kind of bad, but like I don't know I'd probably put it probably put a C tier C tier overall like I would it, it could be better, but you know Okay, we got Celebi. Is it called Celebi? Yes, I was right. Let's go. Okay, salvation. Oh, to activate it, you permanently protective shield. An additional 17 walking speed when you use it, up to six to eight seconds. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Celebi sounds good on paper, but like I tried using it. It's a support character, of course. You're not supposed to make money off of it. I think trash. <laughs> No, okay. No, I'm playing. Uh, I'd probably put it like I don't know. Like I wish the the shield time was more longer. It like it's good to play solo with it. I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Like oh, if we were alone and then the camera pops up, just use your ability, get away. But like the noise, pretty loud. The radius of the shield, very noticeable. It's a good escape option with its speed, of course. But yeah, I'd probably put it either C plus. I'd probably put C+. Doesn't have healing, but it's like a good like burst option to escape really quickly. But like, you know, if the camera's smart or if you can juke the camera and get away with it, I think it's pretty solid. But I don't know. I think probably the worst outlaw thief out of everybody, out of all the outlaw thieves. So yeah, I never had the champion thief. Isn't it just a normal thief? From what I remember. Yeah, it's just a normal thief. I'd probably put it in. Look cool. Looks cool. C tier. Okay, now we got the cop thief. You have Chase. Chase. I hate playing against Chase as a, as a teammate. Because once you once they snitch on you, you have to stand still. Or, you know, the, the camera shoots you. He's a troll character. Not meant to be played seriously. I would say it's like a better version of Banana. Banana Ben. So I'd probably C minus just because of that. Just because you can make money from like, other thieves and make money off of it like a decent amount like like 80 it's like it's like nothing like honestly okay this one i do not have so i'm gonna have to base it off the wiki chloe the coconut the co coconut what? okay let me read it chloe the coconut is an epic thief her ability coconut Commute turns the coconut that bounces to turns the coconut that bounces to protector. Cameras can also zap the coconut to move it, which damages the what? So like, let me look at this. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's actually cool. Oh, that's that's actually awesome. I wish I had that, dude. That's a. Okay, basing it off that one scenario, the that's actually pretty long. Can you move? It looks like you can move from. Yeah, you can like kind of move from it, and you, of course you don't get damaged. Huh, okay, gonna have to protect it from lasers. Oh, I can take up to eight laser shots before being destroyed. Okay, okay, I'd probably put Chloe. Honestly, it sounds pretty solid. Being able to go around the map, not being able to take damage for a certain amount, like up to eight shots, and then it breaks. So, mm, if I if I had the thief, I'd put it higher, maybe based off what I've seen from it, from that <laughs> that one gift, I'd put it put it B plus, put it B plus. Ace, Ace. We all know. I mean, I know it, so I don't need to check the wiki. But pretty much one health. I don't care about the walk speed, how much it is, but 
pretty much fastest character in the game. Only has one heart, like one bear trap. I hate bear trap so much when I play Ace. Depends how, you, like for me, how I play Ace, I play really aggressive. I go around the map really quick, but of course, before I go to an area, I look at the, the ca where all the cameras spawn and where they can pop out and then I run, but like, eh. I would put Ace, just A tier, A tier overall, if you're really careful. I only use Ace on like museum and mall. I like using it. I don't like using small maps. Okay, now we have Cole. My boy Cole. I hate Cole. <laughs> the amount of times I've literally taken damage from Cole, and I'm like, oh shoot, I have to go deposit it, or I have to give it to someone else. It's, it's a troll character, again. We're saying it again, not meant to be played seriously. I would put Cole. Oh, it doesn't even have smoke screen. Like, I, I think smoke screen is just important in general to have like a distraction to get away, but like, I would put it probably the same tier as Ben the banana. I don't know if you can sell it. It doesn't say I could sell the coal for money or does it? Let's see. Yeah, I think coal sucks. End of story, D tier. Okay, now we have Crystal. Now I think Crystal Flame, I would put this, in my opinion, S tier or, or A plus, whatever you prefer. I think a really good character. The only drawback would be since it has normal speed, it's pretty slow. Being able to have five hearts and carry 40 weight is like really OP. Really OP, you can literally just like go and carry as much as you want. You can like grab the 25 weighted item like right away and make people mad. Really, I do like using f crystal flame and small maps. Like literally one of the best thieves you can use to like grab items and deposit them for like a large sum amount. Yeah, as tier it is. There we go. Cyborg, Cyborg Bubble Shield. It's a good protective option, 40 second duration 20, so one minute and of usage in total. Okay, I would put Cyborg has Bubble Shield. I've seen, I don't know, I think Cyborg, I would probably give it, like the thing about the bubble, the bubble shield, if you have like an explosion radius, I'm pretty sure you can shoot him. <laughs> if you just shoot up the shield, he'll take damage. I don't know if they fixed it or if that's meant to be a thing, but pretty much if even if you were to stay in it, literally you got to hope that the camera shoots all its lasers and while it's recharging, you run away. But if not, they can just wait there and then you can just take a bunch of damage and probably get down because of it. It's like a... Like you're literally stuck in that scenario if you were to use it, right? But it you gotta hope you got like you spawn the bubble shield near a escape option so you can at least run away. But yeah, I would probably put it probably B tier. B tier C plus. Okay, now we have Dawnstar. I I like all the Dawnstar players. They help me out to make to deposit my cash and go to high high value areas like really well. Like overall, like a really good character. It does take a while to like set up all the two burrows and then like, you know, wait for the additional few seconds just for it to use. I'd probably put Dawnstar, it's like between A plus to B plus. Really good for your teammates and really good in general for yourself. Being able to teleport in and back really quickly. I would say drawback would be either, literally just its walking speed. But yeah, yeah, A tier sounds fine. Okay, now we have Detective James. If I remember correctly, this is the one where you could see the camera. Investigate Detective James, seeing all the cameras position. I think I think it's really bad to I don't know why detective James is even in a Legendary if I'm being honest like the rarity the legendary but like the, the ability passive ability is like actual It's like really bad. I don't I don't like it in my opinion It's like good for like survivability I guess but like there are way better thieves to use than just knowing the camera's position Right, I guess if you just want to be careful of like the area in general, okay, but like I don't know it has smokes bomb at least I would probably put it C and Wanda, yeah, you're at Wanda's F tier. <laughs> I don't care, literally, the word, like, actually, the worst. Like, you don't even need to use Wanda, you can just use the general settings or go to the lobby and then change the settings where you can know all the sound cues and all that. Dude, I don't see a purpose for Wanda, they need to rework Wanda definitely. I had dibs, let's see, dibs, okay, dibs. I think dibs, I think it's a good. It's a good character for yourself, but for other people, you I mean obviously you're just stealing money from them every 40 seconds. 
but the I would say the drawback is when you act its ability it makes a loud sound and you're doing the animation of like stealing the money I would give it I think overall I'll give it a B tier I'll give I'll give it B plus just because you can steal money from your teammates Diego we have Diego smokescreen and treasure map nearby items are highlighted i'm going to be honest useless i think you'd only use diego for for finding like golden divorce papers if you're really like looking for it, it diego would be a good pick but like i don't know like the point of highlighting all items like nearby items like i don't know i don't find that useful for getting money in general so i would put diego in probably c minus i'll put c minus Okay, we have Doc. Doc being able to heal all your health. 30 second cooldown. Pretty good character to play, like, you know, alone. At 30 seconds. Eh, I'd probably put Doc in C+. Yeah, I'd put C+. I think good overall, just for, like, not depend on anybody. Heal. Go to hiding place, heal. Go back. I think solid, yeah. I'd put C+. Doug being able to do dig. Dig under and hide. Huh, I don't... Okay, I think Doug... Doug is like an escape option if you're like in a bad scenario and then you can dig and get away. It's good against... I guess if you're in a small room and they have the poison... poison bomb thing, the poisonous bomb, or if they set the place on fire, you can just dig under. Yeah, you can just like dig under and hide and then not take damage. I wish Doug was a little bit better where you're able to move after you're underground, but you're literally stuck in that one spot. So I would probably put Doug, no passive ability, just solid. I'd put, I'd put C+. Okay, now we have Dracula. I put Dracula 75 cooldown. Okay, uh... I think you can get up to not eight, I think seven or eight or nine health if you were to do it like the, if you're used to use the suck blood ability all the way through the match. There are better thieves to use just for health. It just increases health, that's it. You could just use a thief of better, of higher health instead of using Dracula, right? I'd put it B tier. Okay, now we have Dr. Tanner. When I st first started playing the game, I used Dr. Tanner a lot. To get through the game if you play dr tanner you know if you drink the potion it's permanent you're green very noticeable large and you will be shot a lot you just have to take the hits and if you have a five weighted item you restore one health so if you carry like a 20 weighted item you restore four health which is like good that's a good thing they added of uh, dr tanner because if not you would have been you would have been like pretty bad but being able to restore your health not from other teammates but by yourself which is very good so i would put dr tanner in the probably b tier it's of course it's drawback is really bad but like it takes a while to shoot it right so you would need you're gonna need like you're gonna have to get your shots perfectly and not miss now we have duncan with speed and its jump power is good oh wow huh. okay so pretty much duncan is just like a movement character I've, i used it like one time for a video when i was demonstrating the thieves so yeah mul yeah pretty much multiple floors is really good with duncan for like, you know, going up the second floors and all that. So I would probably put it B. I'd put it B tier. I think it's solid. It'd be good for like, you know, getting money in and out and then going and then going up. But of course there are better thieves to use. You could use of course the outlaw thieves, all cow and all duck for it. But yeah. Overall B tier, B or C plus. Okay, now we have Eek. From what I remember from Eek, 10 second, yeah, 10 second duration of 30 second cooldown. I think if the camera doesn't have explosion, explosive shot or any explosion, and they see you and you go invisible, yeah, I think Eek is really solid. 10 seconds is pretty crazy, and with its 30 second cooldown, which just isn't that bad of a drawback. So I'd probably put it A tier, A tier overall. Nothing much to say. Going invisible is OP. E O D. I would put being able to negate nuke from uh, the annihilator. Being able to negate the nuke from annihilator is actually pretty good. But like a lot of these thieves, they're really like scenario based. That like you know, of course, the ca if the camera gets picked, then you'll be able to negate it. But like you know, I would put E O D in probably B tier. Yeah, I'd put I'd put it in B tier. B tier for E O D. 
Executive. Active ability meeting. Other thieves earn half of what of each attendant. It's a good way to make money, but there are better ways to make money. Like executive really depends on the area and how like how big the area is. If the thieves are even gonna show up to the meeting, you can make money. Alright, so I would put it probably C plus. C plus for now, yeah. You have formula zero. 30 second cooldown, very fast. Similar to the squid guy, it's like boost. Like they're really similar, but I'd say there's like a tiny bit not as good, but still good. So I would probably put it in, probably put it C plus. Okay, now we have Frankenstein. So being able to revive yourself one time. Like the thing is, reviving yourself sounds good, but the thing is you can't control. I wish you were able to control when you could revive yourself, because if the camera knows the ability, you can literally just wait a few seconds and once it spawns, of course it'll have the bubble, but you can just chase it down and shoot it again, right? So, sounds good on paper, but like, you could also just wait for someone to heal you, right? So it's like, I don't know. I'll put it, actually I'll just put a C. Yeah, it really depends if the person knows what the ability is. There are better thieves to use than just Frankenstein. But if you don't care, if you don't want to trust anybody that they won't revive you, then go ahead and use it. I mean, that's, that's just, game is game. Glitch. Because the thing about glitch, it's like, it's pretty good, depending if you're lucky, right? So, like glitch overall, being able to 50% cooldown is good. So you can just spam it, but like, you don't know what it's going to be, right? So it, it could be good, bad, trash. I would put it... Put it C plus if you're lucky. <laughs> if you're lucky with what you get. Godfather, 20 walking speed, 60 jump height, 15% more money, and you can get revived any amount of times. That I would put it in S tier. It's like a mixture of all cow and all duck, but like toned down a tiny bit, and you can make money and you can get revived multiple times. I think that's like really OP. You can just be reckless and just like get downed as much times as you want as long as your teammates are five you, right? So I think it's like one of the one of the good thieves. Okay, now we have the Great Pumpkin. Yeah, I think I think it sucks. Yeah, cause like you can spam a pumpkin, but then they have to shoot they have to shoot the pumpkin to get like the distraction, right? Getting shot and then all the pumpkin guts goes in the screen and you can't see, right? So like then if they were to hit it then yes, but like I don't know. I think I'd probably just put it C tier just cause I think from what I remember before, I remember people saying that you if you were to use its ability it would just blind the cameras, but now I think they reworked it where you have to spam a pumpkin and then you gotta hope or make the camera shoot it for them to get blinded. So I think that's a huge nerf. Kinda glad. As you did that though, so I would probably put it in probably C minus honestly. Green horn, okay. I think green horn is very underrated because literally, if you you can spawn up to like 10, 10 square like stones, and I think it's like if you know how to properly use it, you can literally like block up one area. One area just by like stacking the blocks and then they just have to shoot it down constantly and then you can just like you know take the block and then place it back up top i think heavily underutilized character it's not like literally not used enough i would probably put it in yeah probably put b plus b plus or b i think very underutilized there are better thieves if used correctly literally can be like one of the most annoying one of the most annoying characters for cameras okay werewolf or not werewolf gray mane yeah, how? Being able to give one heart one heart to a surrounding thief, but the drawback is two minutes. So you can probably use it like, I think, two or three times in total. Because you're also able to heal yourself and other teammates around you. So I would probably put it... I'll probably put C+. Plus. Now we have Grim Reaper. Yeah, you get times two money for revives and passive revive speed multiplier. And you have Soul Harvest. Good way to make money, and you can heal your team as fast. I would put it in B tier. Okay, Iron Claw. Oh yeah, that's that's F tier. I don't, I don't need to get into that. Like really bad. Okay, next one, Juggernaut. Fifteen walking speed, eight hearts. <clears throat> so pretty much just more health in general. I'd probably put it in probably B tier. Nah. Yeah, probably B tier for now. I might. I'll probably change it. Okay, this one from what I remember. There's like a 1 in 3rd chance you don't get hit, so 
happy. It's like a chance you can get or not and like negate the damage. I would probably put it in C tier just cause there's no guaranteeing you won't you'll like live or not even take damage, right? So yeah. Okay. I know they reworked King Midas a bit. Golden touch cooldown. I would put it probably A tier still. It's still it's like it helps everybody around you and you know you still get the benefits as well. Cooldown, I think 70 seconds. 70 seconds, duration 10 seconds. I would say the drawback would be since you're helping everybody, you don't have that much time to help yourself to, to make money, but really good good character A tier. King Richard, okay it has. 40 seconds. I don't know. I think they probably should have made it have more money to make it more worth it. Like, so I would probably put it in purple here. Lazarus. I think it's one of the uh, support characters when it comes to reviving. You know, being able to at least sacrifice one heart for each thief, which is, which is actually pretty good. Probably C plus. I give it a C plus. This one. I know it spawns an NPC. Honestly. I don't, I don't like anything of like gimmicks. I'd probably put it, yeah, I'd probably, I'd, pro I'd pro probably put it F tier. F tier for zombie. Medusa, being able to turn Petrify and turn all the characters into stone. I mean, you can turn it into stone and try blocking it. I don't think it's gonna work. 30 second cooldown. I don't think it's good. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. C minus, okay, now we have squid mr tentacles being able to speed boost but leaving a trail i think it's fast enough where you literally won't be able to trace it down with with its ink it's a better speed boost than the the motorcycle one the motorcycle guy yeah it's like a burst uh, escape option how long is the cooldown 20 seconds that's actually pretty good i would put probably b tier b to b to a it's pretty good mr tv i used to also play mr tv when i didn't have outlaw literally mr v is literally a get <laughs> get out of jail free card like actually like literally use the ability and then run away from the area and you're literally free and or usually the camera gets distracted of another person if you had a good camera they'd show back right away to that area but you could also just leave the area right so overall how long it's cool down 30 seconds is still good i'd put it in a definite a or a or a plus because it helps helps everybody around so this one you can change into a prop i wish they had better props if I'm being honest, cause like literally the props that Murphy turns into is it's pretty bad. The only good for Murphy is if it's like a small item. That's only when it's good. But other than that, like if we're gonna be a freaking toilet, <laughs> not gonna be that good. Okay, this one spawns a taco truck for a distraction. Good. Anything of a distraction usually is not that good. Yeah, I'd put that D tier. I I don't think they're good. Paul. 25 weighted item and five hearts. Good beginner character for you know if you were to unlock it but you know later down the game once you get better characters you're, you're not going to use it but you're not you're not going to use paul but i would say it's a good overall character at least you can carry 25 weighted item which is the benefit of the doubt i'd probably put it b or b plus okay now we got payday payday really good i like payday being able to deposit stuff fast run fast i like also i like i also like using payday i like using payday in small maps probably put it a plus yeah i'll probably put it a plus okay plague doctor being you gain one health and 1.5 revive speed multiplier and the player revive only regains one heart but gets one life back i think plague doctor is good for like literally just constantly reviving people you can literally get so much health so i would probably put it in b plus you know you got you gotta help people get you know down right pretty good i'd probably put it b plus private brian i think you get yeah times two speed and you can run fast for three seconds there there are better there are better thieves to use let's be real yeah i think overall okay but i'd probably put it c plus the speed boost is good but you know there, there are better there are better options okay quartz uh i really want a quartz rework i like the design and the its ability is very unique with time travel going backwards, kind of like Tracer from Overwatch. But I, I think if they were to increase the 
the position from like maybe make it like 10 or 12 seconds you know because i feel like it's too short or or maybe just make its walking speed a bit you know faster i think that would that would make it really well because it's, it's just normal walking speed so you're not able to go as far but i think heavily underrated i would also put it in b tier if you know how to properly use its you know ability like full usage b tier Okay, now we got Raven. Uh, Raven turning into fog. Yo, when Raven came out this Halloween, I was destroyed because I I did not know the hitbox of how it worked. I do think it's 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 kind of like a gimmick character. It's foggy, but if you know it's hitbox, you can literally just destroy it pretty easily. I'd probably put it. I'd probably put B tier. B tier for Raven. Yeah, Ronald with its better version of Smokescreen. Uh, yeah, I'd, probably, I'd just put a C tier. Just I guess just a better version. Better version of Smokescreen. Okay, Ronald. Now we got Rose. Rose is a funny character. Because if you get spotted by a camera, just use its ability and you like get a get out of jail free card. 30 second cooldown. Yeah, so I'd probably... It scores over your teammates, depending on when you use it, but I'd probably put it, probably B tier. Santa, support character slash, you know, I think a support character and you can like help make money for other people and your comrades. If you were to use it every single time, you can get up to, get up to 40 weight capacity, which is just crystal, but like, you know, slowly building up throughout the round to get to 40 weight. I put Santa in B tier, B plus. Yeah, I think its overall benefits is really good for both you and your other teammates. So yeah, I'd probably put it B plus overall. I do think if you do care about weight capacity, just use crystal. But you know, if you want to help your teammates and get a large inventory, then yeah, just, just pick Santa. Okay, stand still for three seconds and gives 20 plus walking speed for three seconds. Uh, I used it and I thought it was going to be really good, but you know, the drawback is standing still for three seconds. I wish they changed it to make it two seconds or 1.5, but it would be kind of too OP. And it's only temporary, right? And you have to stand still, so yeah. It's only, it's like really short duration. I do think it's still good. Yeah, I'd probably, it's like a good like escape option. But you, you first you gotta stand still for three seconds and then run away, right? So yeah. Like if, if a camera was in a room and like slowly shooting every thief, stand still for three seconds and bam, get out of that room, right? So I think it's good. Probably put it... C plus. Scar temporarily increase its max weight wearing off over time i did not use scar that much but i'd put scar with its abilities in probably b scavenger i use scavenger a lot not as much as before because you know once you get better thieves you move on but it's target assignment one of the best thieves early game when you don't have good thieves when you don't have like all the thieves to use scavenger is pretty pretty good put it in put it in b tier really good character scrooge i think scrooge i would put scrooge in c plus okay shadow shadow's ability is teleport to a random location it's a teleport ability. It's like a get yeah free thing. Get get out of jail free card. Get out of jail free cards are really good in general. So I would probably put it. Don't it doesn't <laughs> same thing. But you don't screw over your teammates. So I'd probably put a B plus. Shareholder. Shareholder. Add an additional 50% of what you earn. Of what you're currently carrying. Uh, this one. It's a one minute cooldown, which kind of sucks. But I do think it's. If utilized correctly and you gotta hope you get like a large sum of cash when you use its ability to get like a huge amount out of off of it I would put it even though like it's a one minute cooldown which sucks so I would probably put it C plus C plus yeah okay Shelly scooter and speedy this character is bad I'm gonna be honest at least like you're really slow when you have the invincibility. <laughs> literally, the camera can literally just follow you till it runs out and then you die. So I'm putting it in probably C minus. Yeah. Now we have Skelly. Begins with six hearts. Every time you are damaged, you drop a bone. It can be picked up to regain your health. It's like a self heal, but like you have to go back to the area to heal to literally heal yourself. So I would put Skelly in. Put it in C plus. 
Okay, now we have Sprint, a great character. I'd put it in A tier. A tier overall. I don't use Sprint that much, but when I do, really good. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Nothing much to say. If you use Sprint, you know, you know. OP. Sub Zero, being able to polar discharge. Yeah, making every camera reload. Really annoying. <laughs> really annoying when your cameras. And yeah, I think I'd probably put it. I'd probably put it in B, B plus. Sub Zero is pretty, pretty good for like. It's like a, it's like Mr. Mr. V or the TV guy, but then it, you can at least like run away. The Mummy. We're gonna have five hearts. You get all your hearts back when you're revived. Okay, I'd put it C plus or the statue. <laughs> okay, statue. You are a statue. You have no movement. I, I think you gain a little bit extra cash from from what I remember. But yeah, I'd put it put it in C plus. Tony, Tony is a good character. Can carry can literally carry like any item. But like you know, the bigger the item, the more noticeable. Doesn't matter about the weighted item. It depends on the, how big the item is. Eight second cooldown for dropping the item and ten seconds for depositing the item. I think I'd probably put it in. I put it in B tier. Whiskers. Their ability 9 lives allows them to be revived 3 times and have a temporary 4 speed boost after being revived. I would put it... probably C. Yeah, I'll put, it, I'll put Whiskers at C. And finally, we have the new character, Lumi, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, Lumi. Its passive ability makes the floor below you become slippery ice and it's like... I'm gonna be honest, Lumi is like a worse version of Sprint that's like glued to the floor. So instead of jumping, you're literally on the floor. It's like a ground version of Sprint. So instead of jumping to get your speed boost, you're literally on, you're literally on the floor using the speed boost. It's drawback I really don't like, you know, because it's slippery. When you stand still, when a camera pops up, you're still moving. You have to, <laughs> and then you're going to get shot to death. So I'd probably put it... I think it does have great benefits, but I'd probably put it in probably C+. Okay, well that's all the characters. I'm going to quickly rearrange it, and I'm going to be back. Well, okay, that's my tier list. Let me know your thoughts. Remember, this is my opinion. Don't get mad. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm, oh, I'm going to go. Bye, peeps.